2023 is coming to an end very, very soon. There's about a week left or less when you see this video. And as I've mentioned in my previous video, I think I've been in this very contemplative mood. And I've also been wanting to show you how I film my videos. And I want to show you how I film my videos to um, demonstrate how you can start something without having the best equipment you can start before you're ready, basically. So I started my YouTube channel um, like 13, 14, almost 14 months ago now. And I'm only using my cell phone as the camera and an iPad for editing. And I use a app called Splice. I would love to use a editing software like Adobe Premiere or um, there's a few others, but my computer, my laptop is actually too old, doesn't support those programs. So I'm really working with the bare minimums. I do have a photography light that I had for a long time and then a tripod and I have a couple small tripod that I use, especially if I'm filming outside, like when I go to the lake and stuff. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to go for a walk actually. So I'm going to take you with me and we can chat some more. All right, let's go. It's so foggy, it's such a mood. I actually really like it. I like the fog, I think it makes everything kind of mysterious. Just, I mean, it's not really the vibe of December 24th when I'm feeling this, but nonetheless, I think fog is pretty cool. I don't script my videos, which is something a lot of YouTubers do. Um, I kind of like it to be real uh, so maybe it's a little bit chaotic I don't know if that's a strategy that I will change in the future but for now that's kind of how I've been doing my videos I always have a rough idea of what I want to talk about if it's like on a specific theme and if it's a vlog obviously I go you know with whatever's going on so um, yeah so that's kind of the reality of my videos right now just kind of, you know, going with the flow. When it comes to light, you want your videos to be very well lit, otherwise it's gonna appear poor quality and you don't want that, obviously. So I try to film using natural light as much as I can, you know, filming by a window, but sometimes it's not possible either because, you know, it's really gloomy outside or I'm filming at night a lot, especially in the winter time. So I have a photography light. So as you saw me set up in the introduction of this video, for a artificial light, I currently use this photography light bulb on a tripod and this umbrella-like diffusing fabric and it creates this nice even glow, I would say. Uh, you don't want any harsh light on your subject or whatever you're filming, because it's gonna look very unappealing and not flattering either. And uh, yeah, so that's the lighting system I use these days. Here are some accessories I use in addition to my phone, tripod, iPad, and photography light to film my videos. So first I uh, invested in this little microphone, which actually was pretty cheap, was 10 or $15. Very worth it. Uh, it improves the sound of my videos quite a bit compared to just using the iPhone microphone. And you do want good quality sound in your video. If I go outside, I put this little rabbit on the microphone to cut the wind sounds and stuff. Also, if I film outside or if I need an extra tripod, I have a couple small tripods. This one is pretty sturdy, quite nice uh, if you want to keep your phone quite stable. And then this little one I like because it fits in my purse, so it's pretty discreet. If I'm in a more crowded environment, I'll use this uh, because I feel self-conscious about filming in public still. And then you want the attachment for the phone. I recently got this little stand, it's a phone stand, again I think it was like $10 on Amazon, 
and I started using this to prop my phone if I want to film a close-up on a drawing whether it's for a shorts or even a YouTube video it gives me different angles without using necessarily a tripod to film when I'm drawing I have this stand which um, also goes up a little bit and it's pretty basic uh, it's not the best but it works for now and then I have this ring light which you know I use it mainly for drawing but you could just use one of those to film videos so obviously sometimes having just a phone and an editing app to make my YouTube videos is a little bit limiting there are things I'd like to explore, especially in the editing part, I think could be really interesting because the editing process can really bring to life a story like in deeper ways than I'm able to right now. My motivation to make this video at this time of year was also to show you that you can start something new without having everything figured out or everything perfect. You can start a YouTube channel with a phone or you could start drawing just by taking some tutorials on YouTube, you know, with a pen and pencil, you don't need like all the fancy art supplies or you don't need fancy equipment. And there's a lot of other things you can start without having anything fancy or expensive. And yeah, and you can, in a way that um, not having maybe all the tools that would make things a little bit easier makes you be a little bit more creative in how you do things. At least that's how I feel about my process. So I don't know, I hope you found this interesting. Let me know in the comments um, if there's any new projects you are looking forward to start in 2024. And maybe do you think there's something that's stopping you from starting? Yeah, another thing I wanted to uh, talk about briefly is there's this really good book that I read many years ago called The Slight Edge. I'll put the reference in the description below. And it just demonstrates that if you take a little action every day towards your goal, it compounds and say you want to improve your life by 1% every day. Well, at the end of the year, you've improved your life by 365%. Like so much can happen in a year. And that's kind of the beauty of starting small and starting before you're ready you know just like the fog today outside you can't see the horizon you can't see very much you know in front of you but you can just take a step by step approach and learn along the way you can have a vision but you might not know exactly how you're gonna get there so let me know in the comments if that resonates with you like do you have anything you want to start in the new year that maybe you were hesitating because Either you think you might need a lot of time, you might need a lot of technology. Really just start where you are. That's the best place to start. And you'll see that with time and dedication and also knowing why you want to do work on this project or start, start a channel. Why do you want to draw? Why do you want to, you know, whatever you're working on. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week, actually next year, <laughs> for a new video. Bye!